Oh, don't forget to tighten the wrist strap, Blake. <laughs> oh, God. No, yeah. I refuse. <laughs> Give me that. Safety thing. first. You, you gotta do it, Blake. <laughs> ah, yes, the wrist strap on my PS4 controller. Just, just attach it firmly to your balls and spin. Get, get this, right? This is a Wii game. Yes. <laughs> I'm using a PlayStation controller emulated as a Xbox controller mapped to the Wii controller. <laughs> so when it says A, <laughs> there's no A on here. It's also not the A that you expect it to be based on Xbox. <laughs> it's square. Mr. Worldwide. <laughs> yeah, I made this I made this completely overly complicated. <laughs> Hello. Go. Back. Loot somebody's fucking house. Yeah. Robin the house. No, Robin was the previous main character. <laughs> This is Steelin, the, the famous Japanese protagonist, Ski Lin, for a fucking million year old demon king. This guy really didn't fucking plan for winning. All you gotta do is world. put the soul in a mason jar. What makes it Kitsune Udon? Did you kill? Is there? Uh, what is this Kitsune Udon made with 100% Kitsune? Uh, they're not going to tell you. Damn. Well, there's only one way to find out. Or at least the broth of something that's been boiled with kitsune broth. I'm guessing that's not. I'm gonna eat some kitsune. I'm guessing I have, have to press, press something to continue. You have to <laughs> press it to eat. <laughs> what? <laughs> Usashi? Hey, Sagami's a real place, right? I'm pretty sure all of these are technically yeah, real places. Yeah, I pronounce it right, Musashi. Justin, have you ever been to Sagami? Well, what the fuck is that? Sagami nuts? <laughs> <laughs> I knew he was going anywhere. Blake is immediately killed. It backfired, man. Blake is immediately assassinated. How dare you protect your own home? Don't you know that's illegal? I will stand my ground. Don't you know owning swords is illegal? Welcome to California, bro. <laughs> he pulled the gun on you, he had no choice. The fact that I entered his house first is uh, besides the point. <laughs> yeah. I'm with the ATS. Alcohol, tobacco, and swords. <laughs> this is a no-knock raid. Probably jacking off the guard of wire hentai. <laughs> He's probably uh, looking up porn of that one Kitsu lady. Kitsune lady. Nathan, look her up! It's your job! Nathan, official porn researcher. Uh, I'm gonna break it to you. This game has official porn of it. Sorry, official? official? porn? Yeah. Nathan? This is Skullgirls level over here? Nathan, this is a- How is it official? Please explain. Nathan, this is a red alert. This if, is an absolutely emergency. You, you have to find it. <laughs> yeah. There are some, like, cover or art for the music tracks of this game. And they're, it's literally just porn. Um, so, Ragtime yeah. is a book. Um, it's a very strange book. It takes place in the era where ragtime music was a thing, because that's, okay. that's the main, like, thing. Um, back when they were like, eh, hey, it's demonic, because <laughs> it's too much fun. <laughs> too much fun, um, I'm Aaron. Welcome to the no-fun zone. It's a very creative interpretation of historical fiction. Oh, great. There are a oh, lot of great. weird historical figures in it, including Houdini. <laughs> um, and there's a dude who's obsessing over some lady. Nathan found the form, by the way. There's a dude who's obsessing over some lady, yeah. and he's a total fucking stalker, and he hides in her closet, and then jacks off while oh. she's sleeping. Ah. And the if I... I don't remember the entire sentence, but the phrasing of one particular thing will never leave my mind, because... They use the phrase ticker tape in a way that is just not pleasant. Uh. Say it, Blake. Do you want me to go find the quote? Yes. I will read exactly one sentence of this, verbatim from the book. Hit me. Keep in mind, this was a signed reading for high school. High school? Yes. What? 
He was clutching in his hands, as if trying to choke it, a rampant penis, which, scornful of his intentions, whipped him about the floor, launching to his cries of ecstasy or despair, great filamented spurts of jism that traced the air like bullets and then settled slowly over Evelyn in her bed like falling ticker tape. So, prank him, John! <laughs> <laughs> Gentlemen... <laughs> Not Nothing we do is ever safe for work. <laughs> Which makes it by definition not safe for children. Is Things that any... are not safe for work are not necessarily not safe for children. I don't know. I don't think are I Are you want... saying that there's uh, child-friendly porn No, there I'm, somewhere? No, I'm saying... Gentlemen! <laughs> that... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying that there exist things that are appropriate for children but not for the workplace. Okay. I can't think of any examples right now, but I'm sure there's something. Breastfeeding? That's... Ex- thank you, Jacob. Can you think of anything other... other than that one? Like, <laughs> one was uh, enough. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, dodgeball? Are you saying my family's gone? Please tell me that's yeah, a lot. Yeah, this is a ploy so we can kill your family. Yeah, you know the Red Wedding? <laughs> Hey, yeah, so I know you just saved my life because, like, we were engaged or something, uh, but the engagement was a lie, and also I murdered your family. Yeah. Every night I have such uh, terrible pangs of you. Please forgive me. No. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to do what Jinkuro planned. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't kill you, Jinkuro. <laughs> you can have control back. <laughs> a monkey can lead you to a hot spring in the mountains. I see. Oh my god. The fan service monkey. How old is this character? We don't know. Uh, Great. Possible well, jailbait ass. I don't like this. <laughs> Why? It does heal your health back to full, though. Oh, nice. So, yeah, this is the part where the story goes off the rails and you literally. <laughs> 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 What were you saying? This is the part where the story goes off the rails and you literally go to hell. Enter hell via the Rio to Yamashiro province. That part at least was readable. I'd be willing to bet that was tough for even Japanese movies to do. I don't know. Maybe the kanji makes it make more sense. Yeah, something like Wisconsin would probably be hard for Japanese people to read, but Maybe. it's, like, pretty simple for us. Yeah, because... Or Connecticut know. especially. Yeah. Because we, we just know. I remember the first time I saw Connecticut on a fucking Monopoly board, I straight up didn't know what it was. Huh. Um, I was like, Connecticut, what the fuck is that? Because I'd never seen it spelled before. Is that I was like, very young. <laughs> is, that, is that, like, one of those uh, special Monopolies where it's, like, Kineticopoli, where they like make Monopoly, but based on no, it's like locations. No, isn't Connecticut Avenue or something like a? It might be. I think it's an actual thing on Monopoly, unless I was playing a really fucking weird version of Monopoly. Hmm. It could be, but I'm pretty I... sure it's one of the like highest value things near okay. Boardwalk. All right. I could be entirely insane, but I wouldn't be surprised. Oh right. Because I think, uh, I know that there was one for, uh, Norwood Offaly. Norwood? Yeah. What is, what is Norwood Offaly? It's basically, wait, who the oh, fuck are you? You can just talk to him. Wait, I want to know what Norwood Offaly is first. It's basically Monopoly, but based on, like, various locations within the town of Norwood. Just a single fucking town? Yeah, apparently. What the hell? I don't know why. Okay. Nathan, have you seen this game yet? Yes, I saw it once before. Yes. Nice. It's a Wii game. Yes. It's a, it's a Wii game and a weeb game. It, it is a weeb game with two eyes. <laughs> weeb would like to play. Oh, that's got to be one of the titles later on. <laughs> that was so terrifying. I accidentally went back into my body and in the process pushed Jinkuro's soul out. His soul was found by a big oni and then eaten. <laughs> what? This just happened off screen? Yeah. I can't possibly return the way we came by myself, but I can't hide here forever either. My own cowardice caused Jinkuro to be eaten. Good. I have to do something about it. Game no, over. just just leave. Game over. Just leave hell. 
You will serve me a meal, but you are not even carrying anything. Actually, I've got quite amount of stuff in my inventory. <laughs> I will offer myself as a splendid meal for you. Oh, you're saying I should eat you? In a manner of speaking. The fuck? <laughs> I'm tired of bony corpses. It'd be my pleasure to eat such a meaty young girl. Hey, who are you calling meaty? Please wait a second. You shouldn't just chomp down on me. You should savor me in the best way possible. This scene didn't age well. It is now popular to slide, li slide live fish smoothly down your throat in one big swallow. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, this game was ahead of its time. <laughs> Vor demon. Vor demon. Yes. Human fads interest me. Okay, I'll try it then. Just swallow you whole, right? We're totally cutting his heart out. Ah. Um. <laughs> Vor. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, this is why. Right. Fuck off. Hmm, what are those electric balls coming out from that one pile of skulls? Must be nothing. <laughs> Guess it was the wind. Talk about a headache. Oh, well, you were. Look at my current sprite. Yeah. <laughs> Our hell. <laughs> <laughs> Our body. <laughs> how could you say that when you know how I feel? Fine, but just this once. <laughs> ah, you really are lovely. Don't you worry, I'm very fond of you too. Uh, they fucking. I don't know, maybe they side fucking. Uh, what if when you died you became a ghost and you had to choose somebody to haunt for the rest of eternity? And then when they die, they became a ghost, but you're still, like, attached to them. But then they choose the person to haunt, and now you're stuck haunting that person with them. Huh. And it just, like, goes on that, like that, as a waterfall until there's, like, 50 ghosts in a room being like, ah, shit, I don't even know who this dude is. Top 10 ridiculous cryptids. <laughs> Disclaimer, this article contains inappropriate content. <laughs> Reader discretion is advised. I already love it. Number one, the X monkey. Uh, the X monkey is an alleged primate said to live in many forests. There's only one, and it is said to move around a lot. It's very hard to study. All right, this is a really long article, so I'm just gonna browse it and then give you the cliff notes after. All right, cool. <laughs> no, okay, hang on. Second sentence. I already have to start reading it. Right. The scientist who created it is unknown, yet many people believe it was Albert Einstein himself. <laughs> because he was always very uneasy when talking about it. <laughs> Next sentence. The X monkey is about the size of an orangutan and half its face is robotic. What? A slight fraction of Kenya has claimed to have seen it. What? And explorers Kenya? have found a rundown lab in the middle of Kenya. <laughs> and they have found blueprints as well as a broken <laughs> tank with hair. <laughs> With orangutan DNA. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but if the concept of a werewolf exists, why can't a were something else exist? If you were gonna come up with a cryptid and call it dumb, I would be like, fucking were squirrel. <laughs> like that would be kind of dumb, right? Were human. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does that even do? Bite animals during a full moon, they become human. Yeah, the animals <laughs> turn human. <laughs> No, like, God damn it! I gotta pay taxes now. It's just an ordinary dude who sleepwalks, but he <laughs> get, gets out of his house and bites he, bites animals at night. Yeah, reverse rabies. If a man vomits feathers, it is believed that he is a were tiger. What? Uh, to be fair, if you're vomiting feathers, there there isn't a logical explanation. You yeah. must be a were tiger. Clearly, it's a were tiger. Oh. Oh, I don't even have to read the description to know I love this one. Jeff the Talking Mongoose. Oh, God. 
The name of a talking mon name given to a talking mongoose, which is claimed to inhabit a farmhouse owned by the Irving family, known as Cashin's Gap, near the hamlet of Dalby on the Isle of Man. What the fuck am I reading? <laughs> Specifically, the Isle of Man. Giant flying squid. Enough said. Flying squid? Yep. It's Japanese in origin, though, so it's relevant. Hentai bait. <laughs> I have only read the title of this one. <clears throat> Czechoslovakian Dong Wrangler. <laughs> <laughs> Dong Wrangler. <laughs> uh, Nathan, did you hear that one? Yeah, Czechoslovakian Dong Wrangler. <laughs> that bitch is a real Czechoslovakian Dong Wrangler, dude. I wonder what that does. <laughs> Or it is a dong that wrangles Czechoslovakia. Who is Czechoslovakian who wrangles dogs? The Czechs do it better. <laughs> a, a creature locally well known for its ability to wrangle multiple dongs at will. There have been over 60 reported incidents of dong wrangling from all over <laughs> Czechoslovakia, but in particular the Plzen region. I don't know how to pronounce that. There's no vowel in the first part of the word. P L Z E N. Oh wow, they're already dead. Nice. Umoy umo. Shin Miru. Paul Bunyan! Hey! Yeah. To be fair, I will admit, while all of these other foreign ones sound dumb, Paul Bunyan doesn't sound dumb to me, but I will admit, in hindsight, he is kind of dumb. A little bit. He's just a big dude with a fucking blue ox. <laughs> <laughs> Number eight, Japanese hairy fish. <laughs> it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a giant hairy fish. It's exa well, it actually it says a uh, length of four to five feet with human-like hair <laughs> on the head. So it's not like covered in hair. It's just like it has like a fucking head of hair. <laughs> wow. It is apparently aggressive. <laughs> Emits loud, cr emits loud cries said to attack and kill humans by disowning, and then there's an editor note where it's a big question mark, them. Disowning. We don't know what that means. The editor doesn't know what that means. <laughs> uh, that's also a Japanese one. <laughs> As would be implied by the name Japanese one. I will wait until after this scene to read the next one. <laughs> Alright. We need a moment of sil silence. <laughs> alright, alright. Lay it on us. Oviedo Dick Monster. Dick Monster? In the central Florida town of Oviedo. Oviedo? I don't know how that's pronounced. Only 15 minutes away from Orlando, there have been numerous reports and sightings of an alleged cryptid. This creature is said to stand seven feet tall when fully erect. It has a long phallus-shaped body and two round legs. <laughs> thus the name Dick Monster. <laughs> I'm never get that uh, Czechoslovakian dick wrangler. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Sorry, That's a fight. The Dong Wrangler versus the Dick Monster? <laughs> uh, wow, these new death battles are getting pretty stripped down. <laughs> They're really running out of shit to put up against each other. Yeah, they're really scraping the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> <laughs> Most sightings take place at night in the woods of the Stillwater neighborhood, where many teenagers go to smoke cannabis. <laughs> As a matter of fact, all sightings have been from teenage stoners in Stillwater. Huh, I wonder what the connection is. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, I will not read this part of the article. I will merely say its name... And then show you this picture. Veggie Man. Veggie Man. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a cryptid, that's just some dude dressed up as vegetables. <laughs> veggie Man. <laughs> you can't fool me. <laughs> that's just some dude cosplaying as vegetables. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good article. <laughs> that was definitely 
a worthwhile read. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if the mercy of Buddha is a sham, then punish us both. I will gloat as I die. Wow! <laughs> you want to save her to that extent. <laughs> I see a ray of hope amidst your villainy. Then I will restore the girl. Let that ease your mind as you fall into hell. Heh. <laughs> That's a pretty raw ending, I gotta say. Yeah. These things make such weird noises. <laughs> They're like fucking old man demons. Old man dying. If there was a porn parody of House of Mouse, what would be its name? I don't know, is there any sexual uh, term that sounds like mouse? House of Blouse? Eh. Nah. It's probably the closest we're gonna get, but it's still not very good. <laughs> yeah, that's like, okay, it's almost good enough. Totally House of Arouse? House of Grouse. <laughs> what is Grouse? <laughs> it's a bird. <laughs> Add it to the fucking what was the thing Nathan was saying the other day about the dungeon full of larks? The larkest dungeon? Add it to that. Um, I'm spending your money, boys. That's fine. I don't care. I probably would forget I have it, or not know what to spend it on for that matter, and feel like I would be wasting it if I spent it on something. I spent it on nine radishes. Okay, that is kind of a waste. <laughs> How expensive was the radish? Like seven like gold. Seven gold per radish. Bro! That's an expensive fucking radish! What do you think uh, has the best sci fi lore? Uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, Why's that, Jacob? Uh, they just got the best stuff, like, clearly. <laughs> They've got, you know, special, like, guns made of wood that let you shoot bolts of electricity out of them. Yeah. And everybody has them. They're just that cheap that, that you, they can be mass produced. Well, they are made of wood, so. Yeah. The w I do like the wood lightning guns. That's some advanced technology. Yeah, I like they're, my they're favorite part where their technology is so advanced that what you consider modern technology doesn't work around it. Yeah. Yeah, it just straight up invalidates it. It's so ahead of its time, it's simultaneously <coughs> ahead and behind the times. Yeah. That's just how good they are. Uh, serious question, though, getting off this bit for a second. Um, <laughs> serious question, though. Uh, what is the cutoff for a, for a time period when things start stop working? Like, is it anything, like, newer than the 1920s, or...? Uh, in Harry Potter? Yeah. It's specifically electronics. Okay. Okay. So, like, uh... So, like, a watch would work. Theoretically. I do believe characters have watches. Like, sell your phones is a big one that doesn't work. Right. That much I know. Like, oh, you want to use TikTok? Better turn in your wizard's cap. Yeah. Make your choice now. Everyone on TikTok uh, who's a fan of Harry Potter is a fake fan. <laughs> If you use a phone, you're not a Harry Potter fan. Reject TikTok. Return to Luddite. <laughs> yeah. The only true Harry Potter fans are the Amish. Would you like to eat some dumplings oh I made God. myself? They're scrumptious. You look like you got revived after drowning. <laughs> you look like Frankenstein's monster. You look like the fucking characters from, uh... What's that? Beetlejuice? If they actually <laughs> looked like they drowned. <laughs> you look like a minion, but like 300 years old. Heh. I have spun my web around this temple. I honestly hate you, man. And it's not even because you kidnapped my girl. I can also capture any visitors and suck their blood dry, not just mom. Hey, if anyone's gonna be sucking my girl dry, it's gonna be me. Wait. Bro, you mad, ugly. Yeah. No, no, listen, man. I'm, I'm not just saying this because you kidnapped my girl. I'm serious. You you really got to cover that up. Yeah. Like, how did you, how do you even have children? You, how did anyone find you ever attractive? I can't even fucking imagine it. Asexual the spider just starts crying. <laughs> I broke. Yeah. <laughs> Tease gave me, like... 
All right, I'm gonna head out. Shatters into a million pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Would you fuck a ghost? I mean, if it looked like Tori, then maybe. Ooh, I'm blind. I say ooh. You're blind? How yes. have you been playing this game? It's Echo actually location. Really, it's actually really impressive. <laughs> Echo location? <laughs> Hang on! <laughs> ah! Why would the pheasant come back if I'm trying to murder it? Just okay, fuck you. <laughs> Just send some purple shit at it to kill it. Hey man, if it works. Yeah, Spectre Blood is our strongest weapon by far right now. You really call shooting purple shit at pheasants a martial art? Hey man, if it works. <laughs> yeah, this is, I believe, the area where we fought the mountain god. <laughs> the god again. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking boar. <laughs> Every time, man. <laughs> just like, oh shit, it's just a boar. Yeah. It's fucking wanders so lazily onto the screen. Yeah, just like, and then does absolutely nothing to you. He does absolutely <laughs> fuck all. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny every time. Yeah, really. How can you transform into something so sexy? I, I don't even know where to look now. Huh. Well, well, that's very forward now, isn't it? <laughs> that was a line of dialogue. Looks like you're hot, but my heart lies with this one chick that's about to die. In fact, she already is Like, dead. frat boy honorable. Yeah. Look, bitch. I fuck you got you. some really nice tits, but I've actually got a girlfriend, so... Yeah. Maybe on the 50th day we could do something with that. <laughs> <laughs> Spectre blow. You're gonna specter blow me if this isn't the area it's supposed to be in. <laughs> be here or be steer. Moo. <laughs> <laughs> Did we beat Devil May Cry? The first one, yes. That's what I thought. Okay, good. Jacob, were you were there for that? No. It was pretty meme worthy. Yeah, also, uh, Sigmund Freud got away with it again. Damn. He, he can't, can't keep, keep getting, getting away, away with, with it. it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, to explain that out of context, spoilers, go watch our DMZ playthrough. Uh, to explain that out of context, um, Trish apparently, the reason he saved her and cared about her is because he looks like her, he, she looks like his mother. Uh, that's kind of weird. Yeah, thus the Sigmund Freud joke. He can't keep getting away with it. <laughs> but like, he isn't into her, as far as we can tell. I don't think. Right? Because, like, he kind of just fucking turned his back on her, like, yeah. bitch. I saved you, but it's only because you look like my mother. I fuck, I still fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> and then we fought Mundus and in a Star Fox clone for some reason. What? <laughs> I refuse to elaborate. <laughs> Doubter! That princess pussy got me questioning my loyalty to the Shogun. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. This building is on fire. <laughs> My house is on fire. <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. is now in this universe. <laughs> and his house is on fire. Can we get him green screen down there? Specifically the meme. Also, fuck you, future me. You can now warp to shrines. Yeah. Oh, thank fuck. Yeah. <laughs> the game makes you- Jesus Christ! The game makes you beat the game before you can do it, but it makes the end game very, uh, be bearable. <laughs> bearable. <laughs> game puts Dark Souls to shame with its ho holding off the teleport yeah, mechanic. Yeah, fucking blue bong the teleport <laughs> for even longer than DS1. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, what a view, though. Yeah, same way. You were certainly right when you said this game was gorgeous. Meme. Heh, <laughs> for the memes. Looks like you really gave them the slip. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you really gave them the slip. <laughs> like, oh, where'd he go? Oh, she's like 20 feet over there. Get him! <laughs> oh. So, he's our final boss. Yeah, he's the other main yeah. character. Good question. Whoever actually. you're playing as. Yeah. I know, I'm the right answer. Hey, look, he randomly has, like, 18 health bars. Did you know that uh, at least the first Bayonet Bayonetta game has options for playing the game one-handed? 
<laughs> that's funny. Yeah. That's a real thing that they included. Which I think is eternally hilarious. How do you even do that? I don't know. They must have really simplified the controls. And also the a... amount of focus you have to have. <laughs> I may not be smart. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Who's a uh, fucking... Ritz are those? I don't know. Did you open a thing of my Ritz and then eat two of them and leave it there? I ate a third of them and then left it there. Get it right. Okay, that's slightly more acceptable. <laughs> I'd be legitimately mad if you ate two of my fucking Ritz and then left, <laughs> I have to do that left them to become stale. I have to do that sometimes. <laughs> Ritz, you better not eat one. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this is basically the end of the stream. Yeah. We're not going to be doing any more, so if you want to leave, we get it. All right, uh, like, wanna... Leave a like and subscribe, and then unlike and unsub, of course. Yes. Or whatever Jacob always says. Don't forget to dislike and unsub. That. <laughs>